Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take some random thrift store candlesticks and upcycle them into high-end home decor. If you're new here, I'm Susie, the owner and creator here at Susie on the Farm. I love to go thrift store shopping and find vintage finds and items that I can upcycle to sell in my booth. Here on YouTube, I love to show you guys all the ins and outs, the good, bad, the ugly of having a small resale business. So if you like that kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Now let's get on to today's projects. These are all the random candlesticks that I've been collecting. None of them are matching. They're all out of different materials, but we're gonna take a few and we are gonna upcycle them so I can sell some of them as a set and some of them individually. Now, I don't always show this and neither do most creators, but as I have mentioned time and time again, the most important part of upcycling items is cleaning your items. So I usually spend a good amount of time cleaning my items. I'm using Goo Gone for stickiness. I'm using Dawn dish soap and a hot rag just to get all the dirt and grime. You don't know where these pieces have been. And if you want your final result to be amazing, you have to go through these steps to begin with. step is not necessary but I did take a few of the more shiny candlesticks and ones that I thought that I wanted to distress outside and I gave them a couple of thin coats of a black matte spray paint. This is just so when I distress, if I decide to distress back these items, I'm not going to all these random colors. I'm going to the black underneath. Then I'm going to come back in while those are drying and I'm going to begin painting two of the larger ornate candlesticks with fusion in the color Little Lamb. This is a really pretty gray color. I'm really enjoying using this color. It's very neutral and the fusion Fusion paint has a built-in sealer. It's very easy to paint with. I am using a pointed sash brush on these. They're the best for getting in all those little cracks and details with your paint and they just make it so easy to give these paint. So I'm going to do two coats of Little Lamb on these and then we're going to let these dry while we move on to the next candlesticks. I did want to show you guys this. This is a trick for your fusion paints because mine are always, the lids are so hard to get off. If you'll put some plastic underneath, either like a plastic bag or something like that, it makes it so much easier to get the lids off because the fusion paint has that built-in sealer. Sometimes your lids will stick. So for these two, this wooden one, and the silver one there, I absolutely knew I wanted to stress those back. I love to do a light color, white, or this is Chateau by Fusion. If you've been watching my channel a while, you know that this is my favorite off-white color. So I am going to give each of these candlesticks two coats of Chateau. I won't sell these together. I'm just doing the same technique on both of them, but I will sell them separately. So now the candlesticks that we took outside are dry. I'm bringing them in and I'm going to be using a new fusion color. This is French eggshell and I'm loving it. It is so perfect for spring and I thought that it would uh, just look so good on these two very ornate candlesticks. When I say new, I mean, of course, it's new to me. It's not a new color, but I, like I said, I'm loving it. So I'm going to give both of these candlesticks that I painted 
with the black spray paint two coats of the fusion french eggshell with another pointed sash brush it's great for getting in details y'all don't forget i do have all the products available on my website susieonthefarm.com if y'all want to create some of your own high-end home decor these two are made out of a very heavy metal, some kind of material. I like them both, but the one thing that I did not like on this one was how the, the color down in the crevices just really looks dirty and dusty to me. It's not. I cleaned it really well, but I'm going to go ahead and give these just one coat of fusion in the color cast iron. It is just like it says. It looks like cast iron when you paint it on here. Um, I was going to leave them like this, but a little later on, I'm going to show you the next step in all of these and the final results turn out amazing. Can't wait to show you guys. So the next two candlesticks, I'm going to use some metallic paint. I'm going to use copper on these. I did not think that I would like any of the Miss Fusion metallic colors, but I'm absolutely loving this copper and that bronzed uh, the bronze metallic that I've been using some. So I'm going to do two coats on both of these. These are like just small um, risers, kind of candlestick risers, but um, these are great for styling in your home decor just to give something a little lift off. Does not have to be a candlestick. At the end of the video, I'll show you guys how I style some of these candlesticks. So be sure to hang around for that. Finally, with this beautiful ornate candlestick with the roses on it, could not help but use the Fusion uh, Rose Water. I used this in a video a few weeks ago and absolutely fell in love with it, even though I am really not a pink gal. Um, I had to stipple and brush onto this to get the pink down in all of those details. And there was just a lot of detail on this candle. So I knew for the next step, if you guessed it, I'm going to put some white wax over these, um, all these details on this candlestick to really make them pop. So I just rub it all over and then I'll take a paper towel and wipe it back. And as you can see, there's still some, there's stuck in those details so you can also take a little paintbrush and some clear wax to clean all that up i did the whole candlestick wiped it back and y'all look how gorgeous this candlestick is now Okay, so we're going to move backwards here. So back to the candlesticks that I painted with the copper metallic paint. First step, I'm going to just do a quick coat of a clear wax and wipe it back because next I'm going to come back with dark wax. I'm going to be using the DIY dark wax and the clear wax before it just helps me be able to have a little bit more control over wiping that back how I want it. I love to use dark wax over this copper. It really makes it look more high-end and not just something that you painted with a copper paint. So I covered these both in the dark wax, let them sit for a few minutes, and then I'm going to get a clean towel and wipe them back. That's all that there is to it, and I love how these two turned out. There are many different ways you can style these. I had a couple of these little baskets. First, I put them on upside down, and I thought that they were super cute like that, but you could also turn them face up, and you can decorate them with candles. I put a little bird nest in here, however you want to go with your style home decor. For the two that I painted black, you can see that they both have lots of fun details in them. To bring that out, I'm going to use some antique gold rub and buff. 
Y'all, this stuff goes a long way. I have had this same tube for years and it's still not empty. I like to just take it on my finger and rub it all over the high spots, just highlighting all of those extra details in the candlesticks. And you can also do it with a brush. And I just added until I got them how I wanted them to look. And I love how these turned out. These can be used as a riser. You could put a wood round on them. I went ahead and stuck those little baskets on there. And I liked how that looked as well. So these are the two that we spray painted black underneath and then painted with the French eggshell color. I am going to use my little finger sander that I got on Amazon. Y'all, I do have an Amazon storefront and I will link it below. Um, it just has all the tools and stuff that I love to use. And if you're needing some of them, if you purchase it through my link, I get a small commission, but it does not change the price that you pay. As you can see, all I did on those was distress them, and I think that they turned out absolutely beautiful. I love using baskets, and I just set these um, basket charger plates on top of these. I have not glued these permanently, but look how regal they look with those on there, and that's just one idea that you could do. I love how these turned out, and I love this color. What do you guys think about those? I also heavily distress the two that I painted with Chateau. This step is not necessary, but I really love the buttery smooth it, um, finish that it leaves when you put Fusion Clear Wax on these. So I just did a quick clear wax coat on them, wiped it back, and these two are finished. Um, I think that these are a classic look that can be in any home decor. I just styled this one with a spool on top and a little nest on this one, but these are probably my favorite just because they are so versatile. y'all i'll be so happy to get all of these candlesticks out of my stash and for sale so for the two that i painted with little lamb i am just going to dry brush some white paint now if you're not familiar with dry brushing it is very easy you just put a little bit of paint on your brush and then i use a paper towel for um, wiping it back and then you very light-handed go over your project and all the high spots will get a little bit of the white paint i love this look especially over gray paint <music> hanging out with me today to do these projects. I feel so much better now that I have all of these random thrift store candlesticks upcycled so I can resell them and make some money. If you guys want to create this kind of look for yourself, don't forget to shop my website, susieonthefarm.com. I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks so much for watching. <music>